darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very short video for you prepared on how to shorten a plastic zipper. Now this is definitely not the only technique how to shorten the zipper but I really do like this technique because it's very quick and gives very good precise and neat looking results. So without any further ado let's switch to the sewing machine and let's see how to shorten that zipper. So to shorten your zipper, just take a zipper, find the place where you want to shorten it. Let's say I want to shorten the zipper here. And this means I will be cutting a few centimeters below the mark where I want the zipper to end. So I will be cutting here. So now I take my scissors and just cut it. It's okay to cut your plastic zippers with regular scissors, however don't do this with metal zippers, there is a different technique how to shorten it. So this is how your end looks like now. Now you want to take your scissors again and make small cuts from this side of the plastic and from this side of the plastic. So we will be cutting about one and a half centimeters, two centimeters like this. Now that your plastic part is released, I want you to cut it out, again using these scissors. Now the only thing that we need to do is to secure this end so that when you open your zipper, it doesn't completely open up and ruin the entire zipper. So now I want you to take this side and fold it like this to the other side and then do exactly the same with the other side so like this now that we have everything folded the way we want to we can actually shorten this one a little bit so that it folds a little bit better here and let's just fold it like this. So now you have this beautiful triangle and I want you to do a very small seam at the top securing everything in place. Just trim the excess threads from both sides. And now you can cut this corner to create that beautiful triangle shape. And that's it. The zipper is completely secured and shortened the way you want it. So there is no way that your zipper will open up fully. So this is it for today's tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more sewing tips and of course follow me on Instagram where I post almost daily with either new sewing looks or new sewing techniques. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you next time. Bye!